got a mess here. Um, I put these pictures on Instagram last week. Uh, I messed that one up. Aren't they cute? Shaker cards. This is using the fruit basket kit from Queenie Company. I absolutely love their shaker kits. I probably own almost all of them. Um, they are so cute. They come with everything you need. You get the stamps, the dies, the foam pieces you need to make the shaker, embellishments. This kit is so cute and so fun. And check out these shaker pieces. How adorable is that? Limes, little grapefruit, orange. Look, here's some little watermelons and these all come in it. Look at the strawberries. How cute are those? Apples. Haven't made an apple card. I should be doing an apple card right now. But I cut stuff for lime, so. Um, so we're gonna make a shaker card and I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I use to do it. I have pre-cut some stuff. Um, so let's get started. Um, so I'm using a standard A2 base that I have pre-cut laying here somewhere. Cut and scored, ready to go. I also cut a, I think I'm gonna turn it this way. This came out of the paper pad that comes with it. So you get this paper pad, obviously all the papers match, all the stuff that's going on. You get the stamp set. I think I told you that already and I'm gonna use thank you, you are the zest um, on this one. You get the dies. I have stuff scattered all over the place here, but you get all the dies that you need for this. So, I mean, it's a complete kit. I did use an extra die for something. It's a little piece. They're scattered everywhere. Like I was making these last weekend and I haven't even put it up yet. I thought, hey, while I have this out, I may as well shoot a video and make one with the lime. So, let me grab my tape runner. I'm just going to uh, put this down. This is five and a quarter by four. Kind of a standard little quarter inch um, I usually get them down crooked. Um, I did use, I'm going to do a video on these because I bought all of their foundation sets. Um, I wanted to give a little pizzazz, put some kind of a little thing across the middle like I did with the orange and I used their foundation die set. This is die set number one. These pieces are so great. I'm going to take an old manila folder and just punch out multiples of each. That will let you kind of arrange them. I'll do a video on how I use these, but they have several. And so I use this wide one. It's got a little, they all these on this one have a little stitched edge. So cute, so you can see, hopefully, that's picking it up, the little stitched edge. I bent it, doing something, I don't know what. Um, and it is exactly the width of the card, and I'm okay with that. I actually wanted it to go over a little bit. I thought it was kind of cute. So let's adhere that down. Come on, come on, come on. I was not paying attention. There we go. All right. I think it's a little crooked, but don't tell anybody. Um, it's going to drive me crazy. Um, so I have pre-cut the little piece for the lime. Let me get my all the little acetate pieces come with the kit as well. You need those to hold all the shaker pieces in that there and someone just rang my doorbell and my dog's going nuts sorry about that <laughs> 
Don't ever get rid of these center pieces. Trust me, there's some cool stuff you can do with these. Keep these. We're only going to use this piece. It's probably an Amazon order. I'm not going up there to get it. Now, I could put it down like this with my shakers, but what I really like is a solid color in the background to kind of make it solid. You can see all my little shaker pieces. Unless I'm using something wrong, I don't see a circle that fits there with the kit. I think you're just supposed to put this down and put your shakers in. So what I did use um, this circle die from, I would say the majority of crafters, well, I, okay, I'm gonna have to stop because she won't stop barking. I'll be right back. Okay, I think she's under control now. All right, as I was saying, um, I pulled this circle die out of my Dynamics uh, Stitch Circle Stack set. Um, I would imagine most crafters who use die cutting machines will have some kind of a circle. Again, don't have to have it. I just wanted a solid piece behind my line. So I did that. Best glue ever. I'm gonna glue this. It does not stick in the tip as long as you keep your um, pin in it. Now I put a little metal tip on it so it would come out a lot less because this stuff is awesome. I love it. So I stick my little pin back in. All right, so I've got my circle down. The next thing you do is you want to put the foam piece that is going to hold your state your uh, shaker bits in. So we'll take the one side of the sticker off. I'm going to take off the clear piece and put it down because Either, either way will work, so there is no wrong way, ah, except when Terry puts it down and I'm not paying attention. It's also really easy to get these out of shape, <laughs> like I may have just done. Um, the reason I pull the clear side off the, um, is because this side, or so I've been told, tends to make the pieces, the shaker pieces, a little more staticky. So I'm going to... Pull that side off put, because this, this foam is double-sided stick, so no big deal there. All right, um, so I'm going to take some of my line pieces that come with them. Now, when you buy them, if you buy the little sets individually, they come in little containers like a little, reminds me of the old days, Tic Tac. Oh, I can't get this open. These are just so I can't stand it. Now something I do with my shaker cards is I'm so not prepared. Let me get my sticky thing here. Is I like to glue a couple of them down so that everything's not necessarily falling to the bottom when your shaker is not shaking. And there goes my dog again, seriously. She thinks she's a German Shepherd. It's a mini golden doodle. The Amazon guy delivered my book. I'm going to put in some of these little, came with the little green seed beads with two shades of green in there. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to put in a few of these white ones because I think, well they're not white, they're clear. They, these did not come in the kit, but you can totally make this shaker without needing that. So not a big deal at all. I just have 
all of their stuff because I'm addicted to it. So I figure I may as well just put some more stuff in. So I did. But yeah, you totally don't need it. The little jewel picker's too sticky. Ah! Okay. Again, not a step that you have to do. All right, next, I lose that little acetate piece constantly. I can't see it. I'm almost positive I pulled one out. Well, let's see if there's another circle in there. So don't accidentally throw these out. Some people have done that. They, they're in your kit. Well, I'm going to be really bummed. Arg. I pulled it out. Where is it? I have refills for everything but the one I need, which is typical for me. So I just took my die and cut one out of acetate. So I'm going to lift this up, pull off the tape, I mean the backing, and then lay this down over it because it just barely fit. Ooh, fits. You know, as soon as I do this, I'm going to find it, right? <laughs> I've got all this static going. Get down. Lay flat. I need them to lay flat for that to fit. All right. I think it's going to fit. And now I'm taking um, this piece that I already die cut and laying it down and that's what's going to give us our oh you know what I need to glue it because the acetate was originally supposed to cover that whole side so there wouldn't have been any sticky so this glue that I love will do the trick so even though there's a little bit of sticky, I'll glue it down like I would normally. How cute is that? Kind of messed up my circle shape. That glue will dry clear, so even though you see it right now, you will not even be able to tell that it is there when it dries love it this is kind of a big bottle in our shop on Etsy we have um, smaller bottles this is probably the size most people would use I've got a big one because I'm addicted to it all right so look in there how cute is that look at our shakers awesome throw that away I mean you can just put all kinds of things in there I I I mean, shaker cards are so fun. I could just go on and on about them. Love them. All right. We need a sentiment. Now, what would be really cute would be to do this, but I don't want to take the time to do it, which is um, take the die that does uh, the slices, and you'll see how this lemon looks shiny and it looks like actual lemon pieces and I used Nouveau Jewel Drops and the color should be translucent. So it's translucent. You just put a thin coat on that and look how fun that is when it dries. Love this. Okay. That aside, now we're going to do a little greeting. 
and I picked the Thank You, You Are the Zest. I'm gonna just take a scrap piece of white paper here. And I have no black ink. Never fear, it's always near. One of my favorite inks is Versafine. So let's just ink this up. And there you go. Now, I don't know um, if you have heard of Hedgehog Hollow. Highly recommend. That's where I learned about all of the Nouveau products and I own tons of them now. But I use a stamp chamois to clean my stamps. Love it. Used them for years. Um, instead of wipes that can, you know, leave pieces and whatnot behind, you just do this. Doesn't matter how ugly your it gets looking, totally still works. I had one that looked way worse than this. I'd used it for a couple of years. But this is a salt, it's called a salt cellar. And I think I kept the label so I could show you. Yeah, dash salt cellar. And she, Alexander on Hedgehog Hollow, keeps her chamois in there so she doesn't have to keep dampening it. Because if you're crafting for a long period of time, the chamois will start to dry out. And then I always would just keep a mist bottle close by and kind of refreshen it again. But this totally works, keeping it in this salt cellar. Love it. Alexander's brilliant. Check her out, Hedgehog Hollow. All right. Now I'm going to cut this. I want to just make a banner, little banner flag thing. I decided to do a, a video on the spur of the moment. It's typically when I mess up. Oh well, not the greatest shape banner, but it will do. I'm going to pop it up with some foam squares. Now they um, did give us in the kit some little enamel dots I could put around, perfect for shades of the strawberry, lime, lemon, but I'm going to use, just because I have a bunch of them, some of the embellishments I have from Queen & Company. And if you haven't been to Queen & Company's website, Oh my God, you've got to go. They have the best embellishments ever. Um, every time there's an expo here um, in the Columbus or Michigan area, I go and I stock up. And I have all of their little holders. So what color do you think is in here? I'm gonna go with green. So I've got some green, different shades of green in here. So I think I love these lollies and I don't know if they sell lollies anymore because they do. So if you find something that you like, buy a gazillion of them. Like I probably have 10 packs of these. I love them. Um, because it's almost like they make them and then they go away and they come back out with something new. But these lollies, love, 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 love them. I have them in every color. So, let's put a lolly on. They have sticky backs. I'm just going to stick one up there. And then, 
I could totally just use the enamel dots that came with it, but because you do not need anything extra to make shaker cards from this kit. It has everything you could possibly need. I'm gonna take these enamel dots because they're a little more limey colored, different little shades. Place them. I'm also going to put some on here. I think a little lime would be cute on here. And with that ink, I should be able to do it. Let's take a look before I commit. Well, I love that, and then I'm gonna put one here and here. Uh, okay, cool. So cute. Just put a little dab down. Doesn't work with my left hand. There's one. Someone ages ago told me if you're going to do embellishments or whatnot that you need to do them in odd numbers. So three, five, seven. I don't know if that's really true, but I'm doing it because that's what I heard, but I don't like this. That looks stupid. I put them too close together. They look retarded, but I'm going to leave it there for now. I have no doubt that I will come back and change it, but I know you don't want my video to be five hours long. All right, so with barking dogs and everything, we had a little bit of a rough go, but made it through. I think this card is super cute. Love, love, love shaker cards. So check out Queen and Company. They have tons of shaker cards and um, you can get different kinds of kits, not all the kits. The kits that have the stamps, the dies and everything, they're a little more expensive but well worth their $29.99 which in my opinion isn't a bad price because you have everything in here. They're just more expensive than some of the other sets that might not come with stamps and dies, you know, because this has a full 6x6 paper pack in it so I think that these are actually a really great value. So $29.99, I'm pretty sure was what this cost. Um, anyway, thanks for stopping and making a card with me. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. And also, if you have any shaker card kits that you have uh, from Queen and Company, let me know which ones you have. What, what are your favorites? You can even uh, plug in a picture, I think, they made it where you could put pictures in the comments, I think. Um, but that would be awesome. So let me know if you love shaker cards as much as I do, if you have any shaker card kits, or if there's something else that you'd like to see on this channel, and I will gladly do it. So thank you very much for stopping by. If you're not a subscriber, please click subscribe below. Make sure and hit the bell. That way you'll know every time a new video is uploaded. All right, thanks again, have a super blessed day, and I'll see you guys next time.